hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well guys in this video i will be discussing tcs mba hiring most of your doubts okay i will be answering all of them i was getting a lot of comments from long time that sir when we will get our exam date okay when is the actual exam date and when we will get our admit cards so no one has received the admit cards till now so a lot of queries were roaming around these topics so i will be clarifying all of that and some tips and tricks okay how can you prepare better for your examination make sure to watch the video till complete and as it is going to be very exciting and in interesting for all of you who are going to appear for your tcs mba examination before we start the video if you are new to my channel definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel as i will be posting a lot of content for mba graduates also and off campus rise for all the mba graduates out there make sure to subscribe it it will be very helpful also i have i am running a complete playlist on tcs mba make sure to check this playlist as it is going to be super helpful if you are also preparing for your upcoming tcs mba exam okay so let's get started now first of all i will i have taken few of the comments which i felt that are very important and should be answered so that all of you get to know and all of your queries will be answered in one go and anyways i have tried to answer 100% of the comments that i have received on the re uh, recent videos of tcs mba so mostly all of you have got replies but these um, uh, comments are important to discuss so that everyone gets to know the answers of these first question when will the admit cards be released okay this is the most asked questions and uh, like what i have seen as far uh, as far as now is no one has received the admit cards okay because i have seen the comments all the comments and no one has mentioned that we have received the admit cards so guys but there is one big news that we have got okay from many of the subscribers and some of you have also dm'd me over instagram dm and sent me this email uh, template okay like basically they have shared the email but i have taken i have removed some of the important or uh, confidential data from it and this is the email that they have got that the exam is rescheduled okay i'll show you basically clearly on the screen so basically guys the exam is going to get rescheduled that is the major news that we have got here L let me read the email for all of you dear candidate greetings from tcs this is with regards to tcs mba cat 2 hiring test process we would like to inform you that the date for the test process has been tentatively changed to the end of march 2025 or first week of april 2025 further updates will be shared through email shortly and this is sent by hr and campus recruiter for this location okay now if you have not got this type of email just wait for some time because maybe they are sending in phases or location wise so for now like uh, tamil nadu and pondicherry uh, people have got it but very soon you might also get it okay but this makes th one thing very clear that the chances of having exam on 10th march is very less okay because see already today is 8th march right and uh, 10th March, they have initially told that the exam date is going to be now within two days. They are like the chances are very unlikely that they will release the admit cards and they will call you to the physical location for the examination. That too, it is a weekend time. So yeah, the definitely what I think as of now is like the exam is going to get postponed. So don't worry if you haven't got this email, you will also receive soon. Okay. And let me know your uh, views on this in the comment section. And guys, you can discuss it amongst yourself also and if you want to discuss more you can join my telegram channel and then discuss amongst each other okay about these types of queries because you guys also need a community to discuss right uh, so same like-minded people will be there so they can also discuss all together in uh, telegram channel or in the comment section okay let's see the next question sir is there any negative marking so see guys like as far as the last or previous examination scenario there was no negative marking but they can change the pattern this time but what I feel like 95% is the case that there will be no negative marking this time also. So don't worry, try to attempt the questions. Okay. Let's see the next question that we have here. Does anyone know about the admit card? TCS didn't send it. Is there any update? So yeah, as I told you, ad admit card is, has been not sent to anyone yet. And the only thing that is uh, that the students or the candidates are receiving is that email which I just showed you in which it is mentioned that the exam is going to postpone and if you haven't received it don't worry you will also get it soon either your admit cards or your uh, rescheduling email okay let's see the next question guides admit card will be received before one day exam okay someone is saying uh, admit card will be received before one day but I was not too sure about this information uh, but anyways let me know guys if anyone has any idea about it that they do send the admit card before one day because i feel like that is very unlikely uh, like how can people you know go to the exam centers uh, just within one day so but anyways if you have any views on this please let me know in the comment section next uh, next one that we have is hello sir when is the exact exam date see guys like as per their official notification they have mentioned that the exam date will be 10th of march 
and the last date to apply was 25th of March. Okay, but now as per the latest trend that we have seen, they are sending the rescheduling email or the postponed email, which means exam now will be somewhere around the end of March or in the first week of April. But guys, I just want to tell you one thing because what I know as of now is. 70% of you guys will now go in a relaxed zone okay and you will stop preparing preparing because i know like everyone prepares in the last 10 days right so now if you are getting this information that the exam will happen in the last uh, month of march and or the first week of march then what is to prepare in from now onwards okay don't do that mistake please prepare but you, you should have to take this as an advantage that you are getting extra time to prepare so make your uh, aptitude section very strong so that you know if you clear that you will definitely get this job and guys i was also getting a lot of queries that is tcs uh, even a good company to start with because you know uh, the package might for some people is might uh, sound low okay so guys i can tell you because for those of you who don't know me uh, i have myself worked for around 3.5 years in tcs and i would definitely like suggest anyone who has to start their careers or who has to get uh, experience in TCS, they should definitely go it because TCS is a very good company. You will get a lot of recognition and a good exposure. There is a very good, there are very good projects for MBA graduates uh, in SAP, Salesforce and many different domains. So you will get a lot of good uh, opportunities if you work for TCS. Okay. And if you have any doubts, you can ask me. Okay. I will, I'm more than happy to guide you guys and you can also follow me on Instagram. I will also answer your queries over there. Okay, let's move on to the next question that we have. Sir, I am from Lucknow. I have filled my form on 28th Feb. When will, I, when will I get my confirmation for the examination or I supposed to go by myself as the date announced at 10th of March, but also give me more information about exam like we have to get with us about center also because it's my first time. Okay, I got the query. Basically, the person is asking that. Okay, but I'm not sure was the applications open till 28th Feb because on their official site, it was mentioned that the last date was 25th. Maybe they extended the application date. Uh, okay, but the only thing is you should not go it directly by yourself. You will receive any email first of all, either about your admit card or about rescheduling. After that, only you have to decide. Okay, and uh, talking about the things that you have to carry uh, in your examination. See, you should only have basic things like, you know, your... Uh, Government ID proof is the most, most important thing. You can carry anything like your uh, Aadhaar card, PAN card or anything. Okay, that is the most important thing. Apart from that, you can carry your basic stuff like water bottle and all. And if, uh, if you carry some extra stuff also, it is totally fine. They will uh, give you some place to keep it outside your examination hall. And mobiles are definitely not allowed. So they, they will also give you some place where you can keep your mobiles. I hope this clears your query. Let's see the next question that we have here. TCS MBA exam date postponed hone ke mail aya. Okay, yeah. So guys, that's what I'm saying that many of you have already started receiving the exam postponed email. So you will also get it soon. Sir, please share how to download the admit card. So see guys, like I have myself not appear like uh, applied to the portal for this examination. So I can't tell you how can you download it. But what I know as of now is that admit card will mostly be shared on the emails. But if anyone of you has any idea prior, uh, like prior experience on this, please let me let us know in the comment section so that it will be helpful for everyone. Okay, next question. Thank you so much, sir. Because I searched many times, no one is making video on the TCS MBA. You are the first. Yes, guys. Like actually I was myself not very confident should I even make the content on this because there were not many students who were preparing for it and actually to be honest the material is also not available much so it is very hard to create these videos and bring it to you guys but yeah like thanks a lot and I was reading the comments on all the videos that are there in the playlist you guys have liked it a lot and everyone has commented helpful and preparation videos that I used to say in those videos that's motivates me a lot of uh, you know that motivates me a lot to bring more such content for all of you guys keep supporting and if you want more such preparation material please let me know in the comment section of this video also i will soon plan it and uh, post it okay yeah so this was the template that we have already seen about the email template let's see further few more queries and then we will wrap up this video okay can you give us an update on the admit card still not received so as i already told you no one has received it now the exam is postponed someone is replying also here Next is when is the TCS MBA hiring? What is the TCS MBA hiring LPA? So guys, uh, as far as I know, it is somewhere around seven LPA or around that. Okay, but it can vary. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section. And yeah, guys, like I just have taken few screenshots where some like you guys were like uh, sending helpful and all. So thanks a lot for those comments. Did anyone receive candidate badge status on your application status? No, no. Exam has been postponed. Please check your registered email. Okay. I have received mail that the test is postponed to March and or first week of April. 
how many answers should be there to correct uh, uh, to pass this test so see guys they have not officially disclosed the cutoff but i would say that you know if a lot of candidates are appearing for it sometimes the you know cutoff goes to 60 to 70 percent which means uh like whatever the uh questions are there you should get 60 percent correct out of that okay around sometimes if the competition is very high you should get 70 percent questions correct out of that but don't worry about all of that just try to prepare your best and appear for the examination that is more than enough is calculator allowed there or do we have to these do this cold calculation by ourselves see guys uh, as far as i know in most of the tcs examinations on screen calculator will be there but you don't rely much on that you get your practice in such a way that if the calculator is there you can use it if not then you should uh, be ready to solve it okay by yourself also Okay, let's see few of the important things and then we will wrap up this video. So the eligibility criteria is there on your screen. You should have two year full time MBA, MMS, PGD, BA, PGDM from a recognized university specialized uh, like, you know, domains also are mentioned here. Please give it a read quickly. Moving on to the next one, the test pattern. If someone who is not aware, the duration is going to be 90 minutes. Sections are verbal ability. You are going to have seven questions, numerical ability, 20 questions and business aptitude. You will have 20 questions for preparation materials. Please check that playlist TCS MB on my channel. Academic criteria, you should have 60% minimum in your 10, 12th and graduation. Backlogs, one backlog is allowed, okay. And extended education is not allowed, must complete the course in a stipulated time. Gap in education, maximum 24 months are allowed. Course type is only full-time graduates are allowed and uh, open schooling. Candidates with NIUS can apply. Work experience, maximum 2 years of work experience is allowed. Age, minimum 18 years and maximum 28 years. Important notes, test is going to be in center. So seat allots are first come first serve basis to try to reach on time in on your center. Keep all the original academic documents ready for your interviews. And guys, definitely come back to this channel once you complete your assessments because I will also post videos on your interview experiences for TCS MBA hiring. Communication related to test uh, will be shared via TCS IOWN. Test does not send job offers via unofficial emails. Make sure whatever emails that you are getting ends up uh, with the email id at the rate tcs.com no money is required for employment offers external agencies are not associated with the hiring process strict eligibility criteria should be met okay and guys this is some of the help desk support ids or numbers if you also have any doubts you can try sending an email to them chances are very rarely that they will reply but yeah for your personal sake you, if you have any doubts you can ask on this email ids also okay some queries okay uh, eligible year of passing 25 batch eligible and registration deadline i think around the uh, fab end it was eligibility uh, registration dates uh, were open test date initially they mentioned it's 10th of march but now we as we know it is going to postpone till march end or first week of april which category you have to apply you have to apply under it category in tcs next step portal test most is going to be offline that is in center test center location is going to be you have to select your preferred center while applying so all those who have registered they will already know uh, which locations they have selected okay guys so we have came almost to an end of this videos if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section please do share your reviews because i like to read all the comments that i receive on my videos and i always like when you appreciate the hard work that i'm putting in these types of videos you can join me on telegram and do the discussion over there too you can follow me on instagram make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet and that's all for this video thanks for watching the video i will see you next time